So one of the first really important things that I like about the devices that I use and which helps me get on with all of my work is the accessibility features which are built into Apple devices. I am quite obviously a fan of Apple devices. I have an iPhone, I have an iPad and I have a MacBook. And one of the key reasons why that works for me is because they all have voiceover, text-to-speech, zoom magnification and easy to use colour inversion features in the system or in many apps and that means that I can use all of these things to access my work and reading and other tasks on these machines and focus on these tasks and not be worrying about the accessibility. So I'll just show you very quickly some of these in brief perhaps. The most crucial accessibility feature to me most often is magnification. I magnify the screen to navigate and to do a lot of my typing work and then I'll come on to other accessibility features later as I get on into my work. So we're looking here at some of my history course materials. We've I will magnify the screen to find the correct folders, which is the Falklands War Lectures. I can magnify the folders and I will then go on to magnify any of these documents and then I will come to use other accessibility features later when it comes to doing further reading or reviewing the, the, this work. Now, text-to-speech, voiceover, I use when I come on to read something. So once I have typed up my notes, I, I may review them visually and audibly. So the touch-based gestures for Zoom, if I were going to use this just to search for a specific part of the book quickly, I can, once Zoom is enabled, which having a look at the accessibility shortcut it is, I can then zoom using three finger base gestures. A double tap will simply enable and disable. A double tap with a hold at the end and then moving the fingers up or down can not just turn it on or off but then allows you to adjust it while it is zoomed or not otherwise. It's another choice I have in my menu. Invert colours, contacts and it's very simply that's enabled so I can still use zoom with this feature enabled and that can help me to read any piece of content voice over on contacts Kindle. so now I've turned on voice over on the iPad and I can use the touch based gesture controls to operate it what is ever so good about this if my eyes were to become strained is that these touch these touch controls can actually be enabled in voiceover on the Mac as well so there is some fantastic interoperability here that for very little knowledge I can use multiple devices and get far more work done mm -hmm. so now we're going to use voiceover to read a little bit of this chapter about I have triple tapped to bring up my accessibility shortcut so I can choose one of the free accessibility features. I will select voiceover. Voice over on. Kindle. Menu. Button. Now touch the screen in any place to have voiceover focus on it. So if I come down. Eight Argentine fight for the Falklands. That's the book. Return to book. Two fingers. Swipe down and it will read this to us. Three bullet. The first steps toward the dispatch of the battle of Paraiso in a small lead. OK, in this scenario we've got here, I have enabled Zoom on the Mac, it is zoomed in, our colour inversion is on, but I've also enabled an additional feature of VoiceOver which is called Trackpad Commander. Now this allows me to use my MacBook's trackpad exactly like the touchscreen of the iPad and use the gesture controls for VoiceOver which can make life a lot easier than using complicated keyboard shortcuts to do everything. So, I can, just as I can swipe left and right here, three bullet, the first steps toward the dispatch of the battle of Paradiso and a small landing party to... I can do that here. Martin Middle, four, B, Falk, notes, keywords, Malvi, carrot, return, South Georgia crises. Okay, we're going to have a little look here at audio notes. 
This is a fantastic note-taking tool that I started using in lectures, then went on to using in seminars and outside of university as well, because it's that good. Now, this is a simple little note-taking app. It is not adv as advanced as Word or Pages. You will not be writing essays in this. As a text editor, it's fairly basic. But the beauty of what it does is not only can I type notes, but look at this here, I can also record what I am listening to. But then when we are looking back at these notes, if there is something that I, as a student with sight loss, missed, I can simply change the tool that I'm working with from typing to the hand tool, I can now select this time in the recording and play it straight back. Now, what I then like to do with these fantastic notes and audio notes that I've made for myself, putting together the text and the audio that I might traditionally record on a dictaphone, is I will then save these in the wonderful clouds. I have saved my audio note of this lecture in the cloud, but now I want to look back at my notes similarly on the iPad. Thanks to the cloud, not only are my accessibility features interoperable, but so is all of my work. So I can have a brilliant resource that I've made on one device. I can now access this on here. So here is a very nice model audio note that the beauty on the iPad is much more easily I can get more hands-on magnifying these notes, reviewing them and finding the information I need, can invert the colours, can use voiceover if I want with that, but additionally with audio notes we can now simply play from this point. Okay, we're going to have a look at a favourite app of mine here called KNFB Reader. It's available on both the iPhone and the iPad and is going to work exactly the same on both devices with Zoom, VoiceOver and the inversion of colours. This is a fantastic app which uses the device's camera to take a picture instantaneously of and then use OCR software to translate a text document into large print and audio output. If a class occurs where I have been unable or have not been given the resources in an accessible format at all or even told about them before a class, if I turn up and find that there is a handout in text there I don't have to rely on my note taker or in seminars if my note taker is not present I can use this app to instantly have access to this text in an accessible format but there is a special button for voiceover users that will give them guidance to be able to position the camera squarely over the document however I don't need that so I'm going to go straight to taking the picture using this button here Now I have this in ready inverted colours in large text so I can choose to read it visually or have the app read it to me. I offer online today, helping people with sensory. Lost get online technology can make a matter of seconds and I've got access to this document. I can save it so that I don't need to take a picture of it again and I can use KNFB Reader on any of my devices through the cloud to open up this scanned piece of information once again.